Kieran Cunningham at dummy half. It's his 450th appearance for St. Helens tonight. And he was almost, almost involved in the movement that uh, set Paul Clough away with Leon Price. But well worked that by Andy Coley. Here now is Gareth Hock. Put himself in a great position to the prop forward Coley. Looks like he may have picked up a knock as well in the process. Luluai finds Fielden. He's tackled by Polatuya. Eddie, I think Wigan have been great in the last two games. And Fielden and Conley have probably been the reason for that. You have to go forward and be dominant in the middle of the field in either court of rugby. And those two guys I've mentioned have laid that platform for Wigan in the last two weeks. Cameron Phelps, the dummy half. It's Thomas Luluai. His 80th Wigan appearance, his 32nd consecutively for the World Cup winner from New Zealand. I think this will have some height as well. As it goes off Tim Onside. Smith's boot. And it's another challenge here for Whoa. Amos Roberts. He comes up with the ball. It's O'Loughlin. And Sean O'Loughlin gets the first try for Wigan. Steve Gunson hasn't Just given it yet. Outside. He just wants to check the onside, offside. But Gleeson with the final pass. It's OK. Everyone is behind the kicker. And that would be sufficient. The video referee tonight, Phil Bentham. Surely you will give this a nod. It was a great leap, wasn't it, by Amos Roberts? Got there. Gardner really should have been contesting it. And full credit to Gleason back on the inside. And Sean O'Loughlin sets Merrifield alight with that one. Confirmation will be coming soon. Sean O'Loughlin gets the try. Another man enjoying a milestone in his career tonight. It's his 190th Wigan appearance. He has been outstanding in defence. 46 tackles against St. Helens over Easter. But he comes up here tonight with the first try of this match. Asher clears the ruck eventually. It's Bailey. And here now is Paul Prescott just on the field. Two, Ten metres away, Wigan with McAlorum at dummy half. And he fires the pass to Lachlan. Could have been a touch Move. forward. Got away with it. McAlorum again, quick ball to Luluai. He then finds Tim Smith, who shows and goes. That bounced off somebody, it's play on. Amos Roberts picks it up for the Wigan Warriors. Referee hasn't wiped the tackle count down yet. He still doesn't keep the tackle count going. That's tackle number four. Cameron Phelps, Thomas Luluai, fires the pass to O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin stabs it in behind, looking for Carmon. That's a try! This is a try for Richards if he's managed to keep it. The right side of the whitewash, and also if he came from an onside position. Pat Richards, well he's the goal kicker in chief, has he scored this try? Oh it's a slide rule decision this. Is it ever, he's onside as far as I'm concerned. O'Loughlin puts in the dink, you can see there that A.D. Gardner, they went early in the tackle count, I think that's a try as well. He has been caught cold as A.D. Gardner, and this will confirm surely. That's T.R.Y. time, they've got their second at Wigan, and they are running the show. Confirmation on the big screen, there it is. Try is given to Wigan. A few moments, a few uh, metres rather, so as you can get a proper, proper kick at this. Swings the boot. Magnificent conversion from Richards. They better cut that grass before Rob Burrow takes the field tomorrow. We won't <laughs> to see the top of his head. <laughs> I don't think they will somehow. <laughs> we Twice. might just see a little blonde wig nipping around all over the place. This is McIlorum. So, move, hold, go. The weather forecast is pretty good for tomorrow, by the way. If you're thinking of coming to Edinburgh for the second day of the Magic Weekend, so, the weather forecast is that uh, move, we will have another dry me, day. Me, me. And I'm going to forecast again that Wigan might go in here. This is. Tim Smith trying to fool them, went one way, came back the other way. Gidley stood his ground though. That's Phelps. Here is Gareth Hawk over the top of Long and will score Gareth Hawk. What a start this is for Wigan in the opening half hour. And Brian Noble will feel that he has been fully justified with his team selection here. And Gareth Hawk, the only Wigan man to make the England World Cup party. That's his fourth try of the campaign. He came back big last year in the playoffs after missing 14 last year. And Gareth Hock with his latest Wigan try, the third. Beautiful dummy run. 
Carbot came back on the inside, but what about the way that he just lunges to it? Oh, that is wonderful. Wonderful stuff. Utilization of the dummy runner was quite sensational. It was sufficient. Sean Long thought I've got him, but not when it comes down to Gareth Hawk. He can do anything, this fella. Roby scampering away from dummy half. Palacina had to let him go. He hadn't retreated 10. Luluai there, Joel Tompkins there. Well, There's a good run by Roby. It's his trademark. They certainly need it. Another penalty because there was interference there, but Joel Tompkins, as Roby was trying to get to his feet and play the ball. It's got to be a tap. It is a tap. They're running it. This is Graham. They're 10 meters away. Discipline. Discipline. Keep your eye on Leon Price. There's Roby. Here is Long. There is Price. He finds Eastman, who caught it in midair, and Farman got the tackle in. Leon Price now. St. Helens trying to inject a bit of pace here. Gidley, trademark pass, finds Gardner. Sir Wiggins' turn now to scramble back in defence. Here is Long. Long will stab the kick in, looking for Price, going for it himself. Long will score the try for St. Helens. It's never over till it's over. And St. Helens are back in the hunt here. Long engineering a try for himself. Slip the kick through, the bounce was perfect. The Wigan defender couldn't defuse the situation. And Long, well, in last year's Magic Weekend, he scored three tries, seven goals, and a drop goal for 27 points as Wigan were absolutely destroyed. This is a lifeline for Saints here. No doubt about it. Stripping the ball, the young set. And it was Roby that got the penalty. Need little kick too. It was a shocking bounce, wasn't it? I think it came off Thomas Luluai and went right into the path. And he did. Maybe Luluai should have faced the ball rather than just turn his back to it. And it bounced right for this fella. 